boys. You have a good week? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Alright, um, what I need to make sure is once we describe what we're going to do, just make sure everyone goes, grabs their soccer balls, brings them over to the halfway line so we can get uh, started right away. We're going to start with a three team game, build out game. One team goes presses, the other team will build out with their goalkeeper, their four or five, so two centre backs, their six, they're holding mid, and one attacking midfielder. Alright? So it's three teams of four, two goalkeepers that'll be permanent, um, which will be Johnny and Julio, and you'll be possessing to get into the other side. When you receive the ball, you have to play back to your keeper before you can go to the other team. You remember this game? Yeah. All right. If you don't remember, you'll, you'll soon get it. Make sure all the way to the other side. Oranges be opened up because the ball's going to go into your keeper before you can play back to your side. So I designed this exercise to work on the, the techniques and positional relationships of the primary numbers of when in possession and the defensive third, uh, especially in central areas. So I was focusing on the on the goalkeeper, uh, the four and the five, the six and the eight. I was looking to develop the spatial awareness to uh, find that space to connect and penetrate forwards. Uh, they were up against four four opponents and they were applying the defensive strategy of our eight and ten pressing the the center backs or choosing the right time to um, if i was to do this exercise again i'm not sure i would use the same dimensions especially for the pressing team because once they went into press and they were unable to to regain possession of the ball they had to then sprint the opposite side um, and then they were easily getting fatigued um, so it kind of slowed down the pressure that I was hoping for however overall it was a success after we discussed spatial awareness of the four and the five creating more space um, and the eight looking for for more depth higher up the field um, the, the boys were able to to connect much easier along the ground and find that penetrative pass uh, through to the other side So, always the same, who, prov who provides the width in this situation? What numbers are they? Two and three. Are they always on the sidelines if the ball's all the way out on one sideline? No. No? Shift towards, not necessarily all the way to the middle, but just in case of transition. All the three to provide that width. Make sure the two attacking mids. Halfway line. Alright? 
Brandon, you need to go a little higher as well, all the way up to the centre circle. Kekimoto all the way up to the centre circle. They play out to that centre back. Evan, you can make that run in there. Jake, you'll slide over and pick up Kyle if Evan has to leave him. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's try one to begin with. I'm going to put him in there. You ready? Good. Johnny, put pressure on. So for this exercise, I was using just over half a field. I added in the, the two and the three and the 10 from the previous exercise. So now they were looking to develop their spatial awareness um, and principles of attack in regards to the two and three creating that width, the eight and the 10 uh, moving into space higher up the field to then check into the space, receive. Uh, once they draw that pressure, we're then looking for them to switch the, the point of attack um, away from the compact shape of the opponent. So the beauty of using these game-like exercises is the ability to teach the moments of transition. So here the goalkeeper has uh, received the cross and then the team quickly expands to move forwards and penetrate. So for the, the end of the session, uh, we had to reduce our field final. space to a six of the field. Um, so since I had 14 players, we had three teams of, of, well, two teams of five, one team of four, and then the resting team would provide two goalkeepers, um, and if it was the team of four playing, then they would provide the fifth player as well. The goalkeepers would rotate after two minutes, and the games would be four minutes long. Rock, paper, scissors, Adam and Kyle for the kickoff of the final. All right, you ready? Four minute game, three, two, one, play. 